Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle rant. I want to talk today about um, a video uh, interview I did with Sean Ray that is getting a lot of flack. Uh, I, you know, Sean Ray had originally contacted me, you know, last week or whatever it was a couple days ago. I don't even remember how many days it is now. Everything's a blur after what happened with Sean Roden and, and the terrible news, obviously. And he said to me, I, I want to do, we got to do a video. Um, we got to get together and do an interview and, and, and teach, you know, the industry um, what to do and how to stay healthy. And I said, you know what, I'm all for that. You know, whatever my relationship is with Sean, you know, I agree 100% that we needed to sit down and, and, and hash this out so that people could, in their mind, make heads or tails about what's going on and maybe clarify some of the things they can do diagnostically for themselves so that they could prevent sudden death and all the different things that are going on in the industry. So that was the intention when we first, you know, decided to do the interview. Once the interview took place, it kind of took a life of its own. You know, Sean likes to, you know, give his opinion on things. And I, and I have no problem with him giving his opinion. I, I don't believe that people should be silenced. But at some point, it turned to disrespect towards Sean Roden and the memory of Sean Roden, only because not necessarily the stuff that was true that he said, but it was the stuff that was not true. And I don't know why he threw certain aspects um, into the interview and took certain digs at Sean Roden. I, I don't know what his motivation is. And I, I, for me to speculate is, is ridiculous. Uh, but it was done. And it was a done and it was hurtful enough to enough people out there that I decided, you know, after having a conversation with my, my good friend Jimmy Mentis who called me up and, and, you know, we were discussing the whole situation. And, you know, because I felt like the video was a good video in terms of information, but at the same time, I love Sean Roden. I thought he was a great guy. I spent time with him. I've interviewed him innumerable times. I don't want to sully his memory or in any way, you know, cast a, a bad sh a light on his life and everything he stood for because that's not what I'm about because I, I, I really respect Sean Roden as a bodybuilder, as a person, what he's done for other people. And if you've watched this, the show that I did with with Stan DeLongu and Chris Cycle Lewis and Guy Sister Nino and... Um, um, Brad Rowe and Chris Aceto, you'll know that these guys who were his inner circle were so close to him and were so hurt by the loss of him that you can see them crying on the interview and, 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 and just, you know, really, you know, very, very distraught over what happened with Sean Ray interview and then, of course, you know, obviously losing their best friend. So that's my intention is never to hurt anyone. Okay, it's to talk about what's going on, the truth. And so after careful consideration, after discussing it with a couple of people that, like I said, I'm, I'm close to, I decided I'm taking down the interview, okay? And once again, because the message that was supposed to be put out there was a positive one, not a negative one. And that's, and that's why I'm removing it, um, because that's not my, that was not the intention. If, if, the inten if my initial intention was not realized by people, then, then then I have to say, you know what, failed experiment. It's just a shame that Sean Ray had to go in that direction. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know what his problem is in that respect, or if he, him and Sean Roden had beef, and, you know, but Sean seems to gloat sometimes over people's misery, and I think that's not something that, that people respect very much out there. And what needs to be done about that, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the, the guy up there who's going to make the decisions about that. But I wanted everyone to know why I was removing the video and that I was removing the video so that people would know that it's no longer up. I also want to say I have tremendous respect for not only Sean Roden, but his whole inner circle there. And, you know, I consider them friends and I don't want to disrespect them in any way or any of his fans or family out there as well. So, you know, shame on me for that. Uh, once again, wasn't my intention, but sometimes things happen and it's out of your control. The only thing you can do is do the right thing. So that's, that's why I'm doing it. And, and I've had other people reach out to me who are clients of mine and who are just, you know, people who randomly email me for information all the time. And these are guys that, you know, greatly respect me because I, I do help them out and I do, you know, answer all their questions. So, and they were just giving me their own personal insights. So when I, when I have it, when, when there's a critical mass of people that build up to a point where you say to yourself, all right, well, you know what, maybe there's enough people that, that, it, that it is, it does warrant removing this. 
And once again, the only reason I was keeping it up at all, because I don't care, I, my ego doesn't need another video up. I have 10 million videos on this, on this YouTube channel. I was keeping it up, and some people think, well, you wanted to make money off the video. I have enough money, it's, it's not the money. I was keeping it up because I thought it was a good inf informational video. But if you watch the Ask Dave TV show from this last Wednesday, I went over a lot of the same diagnostic tests that I think people should get. And we've talked a lot about, over the last couple of days on all the TV shows, about what can be done to make this industry safer. And that's what I believe to be health screening. Mandatory health screening before you get your pro card at the uh, beginning of every year or at the end of every year, however you want to arrange it. Just basic tests that we know will rule out you know, sudden death, uh, cardiac CT scan, echocardiogram. Cardiac CT scan obviously is going to tell you if the coronary arteries are blocked. The echocardiogram is going to tell you how well your heart is pumping out blood and if it, how efficient it is at that. Checking kidney function, blood pressure, hemoglobin A1C, which checks your blood sugars over three months. Just basic stuff that will give indicators of how the person's health is doing, not just short term, but on a long term basis as well. And then if we identify problems, we can fix them. You know, um, Most stuff is fixable if you catch it early. Um, obviously, if you're in an end stage kidney disease, you're not going to be fixing that. You know, um, But most, most people who compete are not old guys and they're people who have things that are happening and they're just not aware of it or they don't want to know about it. This will put a speed bump in the way and slow people down at least once a year to pass this health screening and to find out what's going on in their body. So that, that's, that was the message that was, I wanted to relay in that video and I'm, gonna, I'm reiterating it here just to let you know that I'm going to keep saying it, I'm going to keep repeating it because it warrants being repeated until something is finally done and these athletes understand that, yes, bodybuilding is awesome, I agree. Yes, I want to be huge and ripped. I can completely relate to that. I went through that as well. But it's not mutually exclusive from being healthy. Uh, okay, they can be compatible. You can still be healthy and be huge and ripped. Okay, and lift a lot of weights, and you know, take your performance enhancing drugs that you need to take, and eat all the food that you eat. You just have to keep an eye on things. And when things get a little out of hand, you, you bring it back a little bit. You know, you don't look if you trained every day in the gym right and you start getting and you're lifting more and more weight every time you go to the gym and you're getting bigger and then all of a sudden you hit a week where you're just like you know what i just i, I just feel like run down i you're not going to keep pushing until you hurt yourself you're going to take a week off or you're going to take a couple days off let your body recover and then come back even better and that's what this that's the same thing with health screening health screening is like taking a week off from the gym okay you're going to have to come down get your levels and get your your um get your i guess you could say your blood work in order Check your heart out, make sure everything's doing well with that. See if your blood pressure is under control. If it's not, go on a blood, blood pressure medication. Are your blood sugars in control? If not, you know, handle that, whether it be by reducing carbohydrate intake or by possibly taking you know, glu uh, you know, metformin or even getting on some insulin if you need it because you're just eating an enormous amount of food. These are things that we now, okay, now we corrected the problem, so now we're back to good health and we can continue on our journey to put more muscle on or to get ripped, depending on whatever the goal is. So, in summary of my rant here, it's really not a rant, it was just, it, it was an apology, in a sense that um, I'm apologizing to people who were offended by the, the show. Once again, the message that I was trying to deliver, I re-delivered here, so that was, that was good. And moving forward, as a community, we need to come together, because it's very important, and that's what I was trying to stress in that interview as well, that we're all in agreement with that bodybuilding can be healthy, okay, and it can be monitored, and that will reduce the risk of, of these problems. You know, we also can't forget about COVID and COVID vaccines. Whether you decide to take a vaccine or not, that's entirely up to you. That's your decision. But understand that whether you get COVID or you take a vaccine, there is an increased possibility that you could have clotting issues, okay? And it's very simple to, to negate those clotting issues. You can take a very high potency fish oil supplement, I've said it before, at least three grams a day. That is gonna help prevent clotting. Also, if you're on vitamin E and your multivitamin, that's also an, a natural anti-clotting uh, agent. And I promise you, you probably will have very little likelihood of ever getting a clot if you can religiously remember to take that. 
I produce a product called Omegalyze. You know, a lot of guys take that on a regular basis and be, be absolutely sure when I tell you that you don't clot on this stuff, okay? And, and I've told stories in the last couple of days that, you know, I got surgery uh, from Dr. Blau years ago on gynecosurgery, gynecomastic surgery. I was on fish oil and I almost bled to death because they couldn't stop the bleeding. When I got my shoulder replaced, the second shoulder, I had forgot to stop taking my supplements. I stopped it six days out, which you would think would still be enough. It's not, it's two weeks you gotta stop. And I, I lost a lot of blood too and I had to actually get a transfusion of two units of blood just because I, I lost so much and they didn't understand why I was bleeding so much because fish oil inhibits the clotting factors and that's good. It's good as long as you're not getting surgery, you know what I mean? <laughs> You'll still clot if you cut your finger, it's just gonna take longer. But the point is that you're not gonna throw clots in your microvascular uh, circulation in your brain or in your lungs or in your you know coronary arteries and or in your kidneys and and that's going <laughs> to obviously preserve your health especially during these times when we don't know what's going on at any moment anyone can pick up covid from anywhere it's just it's it's that haphazard and so i implore you just take these small little tidbits that i'm throwing you uh, these little bones these little breadcrumbs if you want to Think about it from that perspective. Get your diagnostic test done. Keep your health good. Take the supplementation that you know is gonna help bodybuilders who have thick blood already. And if you, if you do have super thick blood, you could always donate blood as well. So, um, but sometimes even the donation of blood doesn't solve the problem because your blood might still be prone to clotting because of COVID and or vaccine. We don't know that for sure, but we do know that there is an increased incidence of that. So in summary, once again, as a community, I know we've lost a lot of bodybuilders, okay? Let's come together now and stop the insanity, okay? Because there's no reason we should be losing people from deaths that are completely avoidable. It's a different story if you can't avoid it, but a lot of these deaths might have been avoidable because the people just were unaware that they had something wrong with them. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.